Hello, um, this life group session is about Psalm 22 and the young adults and myself have pulled together some questions for you about Psalm 22 so we hope you enjoy going through those. Um, although it's Psalm 22 I want to start in the New Testament so if we look at Matthew 27 verses 45 and 46 it says this uh, reading from the New Living Translation at noon darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock at about three o'clock Jesus called out in a loud voice Eli Eli lama sabachthani which means my God my God why have you abandoned me um, some of you will know and not, ev not everyone will that Jesus is crying out to God in that moment, but he's actually crying out a quote. That is the first verse. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? That's the first verse of Psalm 22. And if you didn't know that, that's very exciting. And if you did know that, it's a great thing to revisit. Um, everyone will have a take on this amazing psalm. Um, it's really amazing piece of prophetic message, you might call it. David, although he's going something He's going through something himself that's really difficult. He's suffering. God, in his suffering, has given David a vision, a, a prophetic vision of what Jesus' suffering will be like on the cross. And so even though this is written a long time before Jesus suffers on the cross, we get a really clear picture of Jesus' suffering. And everyone who reads Psalm 22 will have a completely different take on why they think it's amazing. Um, uh, as we all have a different pair of eyes, we'll all look at the psalm differently. For me, um, there's two things that I, found out, that I find outstanding. One is that it's um, historically fascinating in terms of just that time spread between David's writing and between Jesus' suffering. And the second amazing thing um, is just that evidence-wise, that time-lapse might show people historically, if you believe in the Bible as a historical document, that there's just no way that this could be anything but God's hand in this, making this happen. David's writing very precisely about the act and suffering of crucifixion over a thousand years before the idea of crucifixion was even conceived in the Roman Empire. It's so unbelievable. It can only be a God incidence. So for me, historically, and in terms of evidence for God's existence, it's, a, it's an amazing, amazing psalm and it's well worth reading. So I'm going to read it now in the New Living Translation. Something we often do with young adults group is do the reading three times. So I'm going to suggest after I've read this um, for you that you read uh, the same psalm, 22, from two different translations. Um, so if you have NIV or NRSV or CEV, whatever you want to read it from, read it three times on the bounce, get different people to read it and you might find... For different translations and different people, certain phrases and ideas will come up um, and, and trigger different thoughts and ideas about the writing. Um, so I'm going to read this. I recommend in your group that you read this twice more in different translations and then you start on the, on the questions. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you think it's as amazing as I think it is. Let's read Psalm 22 together. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why are you so far away when I groan for help? Every day I call to you, my God, but you do not answer. Every night you hear my voice, but I find no relief. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. Our ancestors trusted in you, and you rescued them. They cried out to you and were saved. They trusted in you, and you were never disgraced. But I am a worm and not a man. I am scorned and despised by all. Everyone who sees me mocks me, and they sneer and shake their heads, saying, Is this the one who relies on the Lord? Then let the Lord save him. If the Lord loves him so much, let the Lord rescue him. Yet you brought me safely from my mother's womb and led me to trust you at my mother's breast. I was thrust into your arms at my birth. You have been my God from the moment I was born. Do not stay so far from me. For trouble is near, and no one else can help me. My enemies surround me like a herd of bulls. Fierce bulls of Bashan have hemmed me in. Like lions, they open their jaws against me, roaring and tearing into their prey. My life is poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, melting within me. My strength has dried up 
like sun-baked clay. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You have laid me in the dust and left me for dead. My enemies surround me like a pack of dogs. An evil gang closes in on me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. My enemies stare at me and gloat. They divide my garments among themselves and throw dice for my clothing. O oh Lord, do not stay far away. You are my strength. Come quickly to my aid. Save me from the sword. Spare my precious life from these dogs. Snatch me from the lion's jaws and from the horns of these wild oxen. I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters. I will praise you among the, your assembled people. Praise the Lord, all who fear him. Honor him, all you descendants of Jacob. Show him reverence in all all you descendants of Israel, for he has not ignored or belittled the suffering of the needy. He has not turned his back on them, but has listened to their cries for help. I will praise you in the great assembly. I will fulfill my vows in the presence of those who worship you. The poor will be satisfied. All who seek the Lord will praise him. Their hearts will rejoice with everlasting joy. The whole earth will acknowledge the Lord and return to him. All the families of the nations will bow down before him. For royal power belongs to the Lord. He rules all the nations. Let the rich of the earth feast and worship, bow down before him, all who are mortal, all whose lives will end as dust. Our children will also serve him. Future generations will hear about the wonders of the Lord. His righteous acts will be told to those who are not yet born. They will hear about everything he has done. Amen. <laughs> 